So it's been right at a month since we got some news and information and some official images of the At Games Legends Ultimate Pinball Machine. Now, a lot of people had some strong opinions regarding the mock-up and the renders of that original look at the Legends Pinball Machine. So much so that At Games was kind enough to go back to the drawing board and do some design changes. So for the uninitiated, let's go ahead and examine what we had originally. So this is what we were looking at. We were looking at the Legends Pinball Machine. You know, it's, it's a good looking machine for all intents and purposes. It has all the bells and whistles, but there were some certain and quirks to it that people weren't fans of. Things like the fact that only one bolt would go into the pinball legs. They didn't like uh, where this plunger was. They thought it was a little towards the center too much. They thought the, the lockdown bar was a little too busy and there needed to be some, you know, uh, metal bracing in between the play field and the lockdown bar. They thought that D-pad was a little too center. All sorts of issues as far as people's personal preferences and taste. However, at games, being the consummate professionals that they are and listening to the community, they went back to the drawing board again and they made several changes. And now here we have the first look of the new redesigned Legends pinball machine with the new changes. The new changes being the relocated plunger, it's got a sharper edge of the body, the apron brace is now covering the border on top, it also has that D-pad moved over to the left, the body is thicker because that was one thing that was a little off to me was the sleek, narrow design of the body or the playfield section of the original pinball mock-up. Well, this one's got a thicker, more beefier silhouette, things been eating Oreos, and this looks more like a traditional pinball machine, if you're personally asking me. Also, they added two screws per leg, so it looks a little more sturdy and just, you know, looks the part of a traditional pinball machine setup. They also put on a front faux coin door, which is really cool, and they also made some changes to the electronics so we can have some expansion capabilities on that secondary back glass for visual pinball and future pinball applications. So yeah, here we have it. I mean, it looks good. As you can see, we got that nice little coin door up here we got the plunger relocated different plunger all together the d-pads off to the left no more busy graphics up here just a plain simple black legends pinball we got the the brace across the lockdown bar separating the play field you know it looks good this is a good looking machine overall and i'm happy with these changes here's a, a more close-up examination again with those two bolts per leg into the body of the pinball machine another good look at that faux coin door this coin door doesn't open up like i said it's faux it's just for aesthetic purposes but you know i guess if you're a, a modder you could hack that thing open and traditionally set it up with a coin door if you so desired but right now i, I like these changes i'm liking the look of it and it looks um looks like it should be worth uh, the 600 dollars retail price because uh it's it's got all sorts of bells and whistles again we got a nice little wide shot here sitting out there another close-up shot of the faux coin door the action buttons the plunger we got those gottlieb table graphics again this coin door does not open these buttons look 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 pretty good pretty good quality you know they're they're not going to be hap or anything like that but they're going to be just what you need for some selection purposes again that d-pad up there for some Different menu choices as well as some future game expansion capabilities. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We also got a look at the back glass here with that illuminated Legends Pinball, the 15.6 inch color LCD screen as well that operates as that secondary DMD slash scoreboard graphic. We got the dual speakers and we also get our first look at our, you know, our nice little, uh, our inputs here. So we got an HDMI, two USBs, I'm assuming the source selection button as well as a volume up and a volume down here with our dual speakers. Again, secondary monitor looks great. Illuminated Legends pinball marquee. Good looking stuff. And we got a shot of the back of it here. And as you can see, it's got traditional locking mechanisms that you'd find on most coin doors or any standard arcades. So you can open that up and essentially open up the back panel get in there very easily operating on there inside the play field itself you get your power cord as well and then here we go here we have a nice side by shot of the toy shock pinball machine now toy shock has similar gottlieb lineup only the legends pinball machine has all the gottlieb tables that the toy shock one has and then some as well as the expansion capabilities of other different tables but as you can see legends pinball is significantly larger in scale and size with that larger play field and just larger body in general 
Here's a nice little front shot, and as you can really see, the Legends Pinball literally towers over the Toy Shock, both in height and the playfield height. So if you're a taller person, this should make you happy. As well as we see these, you know, adjustable feet on the bottom of the Legends Pinball that allows you to level the machine as well as raise it up a couple inches should you need to. And we have a nice little top-down shot of the Legends Pinball Machine next to the Toy Shock again, and you can really see the difference between that 24-inch playfield on the Toy Shock versus the 32-inch playfield on the Legends Pinball. Size does matter, folks, well, specifically when we're talking pinball playfields. And again, back to the original design that we got. So you can see some significant changes. Again, the body where it was really sleek and narrow almost looks like a like a toboggan of sorts, they've definitely thickened that up to make it have more of a traditional pinball silhouette and shape. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these new changes. However, it would not be a good update if we were just looking at pictures. So let's go ahead and see this baby in action, shall we? Howdy, partner. Get out of town by sundown. So there you have it. Finally, we get to see this thing in action and we got to see the great new close-up photos of the new redesign. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share the video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always guys, thanks for watching. It really means a lot. Mm -hmm.